Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Raman Deep Singh. Students, today we are going to do the priority sector lending. Very important topic for IVPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 exam. Every year, one or two, at least two questions have been asked from this particular topic. Every year. And I'm going to share all those topics. In the last three years, four years, whatever the questions have been asked in the exam, I'm going to share that. Sare questions, jitne bhi poochhe gaye ab tak, char paan saalho mein, main wo sare ke sare aapke saath share karne wala hon, right? So don't worry. Okay, first of all, IBPS RRB Scale 2, Scale 3, 2024 course. It's already available on bankexamstudy.com. Puri video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, sab kuch provide kar rahe hain. So link is available in the description. Aap ja ke check karo. You can join the course there, right? And this table is very, very important. Please check it. Priority sector lending hai kya? What is priority sector lending? Banks are not interested in giving loans to agriculture, to the, to the, they are not interested in giving educational loans, right? Because there is a lot of NPA and banks are more interested in giving big loans to big corporates. That is why priority sector lending targets are there, RBI proper target there, right? For domestic commercial banks, and banks, uh, foreign banks with more than 20 branches. Foreign banks with more than 20 branches pe same hi rules lagenge. Jo rules aapke lagte hai domestic banks pe, hai. So unka target kitna hai? 40% for, uh, 40% for domestic banks uh, and foreign banks with more than 20 branches. Total priority sector lending ka 40% target hai. RRBs ka 75%, SMF small finance bank ka 75% hai of, of ANBC. Or COB, generally it's jitna bit credit dete hai, right? For agriculture, it is 18% of ANBC or COB, out of which 10% should be given to the small and marginal farmers. Hai. So regional rural banks ke liye ye hai, 18, same hai regional rural banks and the small finance banks ke liye. For micro enterprises, it is 7.5% of ANBC or, or COB, whichever is higher, not applicable for foreign banks, jinki B se kam branches hai, which has less than 20 branches. And RRBs ke liye or small finance bank ke liye rule same hai. Advances to weaker section 12% of ANBC or CEOBE whichever is higher 12% very important. Jabki for RRBs it is 15% for small finance banks it is 12%. Okay. So this thing, thing is different here. Yaan pe thoda different hai. Please uh, download this table. Take the screenshot. It's very very important for you. Uh, isko print karke rakh lo. Very, very important table. Bar bar question aate hai isme se, right? One of the popular questions, as per the RBI guidelines, uh, what is the prescribed target uh, for lending to small and marginal farmers under PSL for domestic commercial banks? It is 10% of ANBC or CEOB, whichever is higher. 10%. It is 10% for small and marginal farmers. Agriculture ka 18% hai, but for small and marginal farmers, 10% hai. What is the sub target for lending to micro enterprises under priority sector lending for domestic commercial banks? Sade Sat percent, but right? Seven and a half percent. What does ANBC stands for in context to priority sector lending? Adjusted net bank credit. Adjusted net bank credit. Okay. What is the sub target uh, for lending to weaker section? For domestic commercial banks, it is 12 percent. For RRBs, it is 15 percent. Okay. Sub target uh, for lending to weaker section for uh, foreign banks with less than 20 branches not applicable for uh, 20 branches and above it is same as uh, uh, this one. Uh, what do you say? So commercial banks 12% hai agar uh, less hai branches if 20 branches and less yaan pe I guess uh, uh, it's 12% it is 12% 12% 12% answer is C answer is actually okay C answer is 12% it is not 15% it is 12% okay it is 12% 12% you can see that table I can show you the table it's 12% same okay if 20 uh, 12% regional rural banks ka 15 hai, hai. so it's 12% for uh, foreign banks with 20 branches and above 20 branch branches se kam hai to applicable hi nahi hai so it's ka answer 12 hai, percent hai yaad rakhna if uh, what is the sub target for lending to weaker section under PSL for foreign banks with less than 20 branches not applicable applicable hi nahi hai, okay what is the minimum percentage of PSL lending that foreign banks with less than 20 branches must allocate to other priority sector apart from exports that other students se padte nahi hai. so this is very important 8% 32% can be to export credit and 8% for the other okay 
what is the total priority sector lending target for domestic commercial banks excluding rrbs and sfbs and foreign banks with uh, with 20 branches and above so 40% uh, what is the total priority sector lending for domestic commercial banks and foreign banks with 20 branches and above so total uh, 40% of anbc commercial banks ka target psl ka theek hai land holding limit for marginal farmers in india is up to 1 hectare psl mein jo categorization hai for marginal farmers it is up to 1 hectare theek hai for small farmers it is 2 hectares theek hai what is the maximum amount of educational loans that can be considered as priority sector lending uh, it is 20 lakh rupees it used to be 10 lakh rupees it has been repeated multiple times ye question bahut baar repeat ho chuka hai very important bahut baar repeat ho chuka hai ye what is the maximum loan amount for housing loans to individuals in metropolitan centers that can be classified as PSL? It is 35 lakhs. It is 35 lakhs. Uh, metropolitan centers mein 35 lakhs can be considered as priority sector lending. What is the maximum cost of dwelling unit in other centers that can be eligible uh, for priority sector lending? Cost kitni ho sakti agar ki 30 lakhs. Okay. And which of the following types of housing loans are not eligible for PSL? Uh, housing loan given to the own employees and loans backed by long term bonds, these cannot be considered for PSL. Okay, maximum limit of bank loans uh, per borrowers for setting up school, drinking water facility and sanitation facility in tier two to tier six centers is five crore rupees ka limit. Hai, hai? And uh, what is the name of scheme under which bank loans are eligible for building healthcare facilities in tier two and tier six centers. And these loan will be considered as priority sector lend, uh, lending loans. And this is Ayushman Bharat Yojana. Okay. 10 crore takke loans liye ja sakte hai isme. PSL consider honge. Maximum limit of bank credit to NBFC for on lending under priority sector lending. The max limit is 5% of, uh, of the total lending of the bank. Maximum limit of bank credit to NBFC for on lending under priority sector lending is 5% of individual banks total priority sector lending 5% of the uh, the PSL the maximum limit per borrower for bank credit to HFCs for on lending for the purpose of purchase construction reconstruction of uh, individual dwelling units or for slum uh, clearance and rehabilitation of small uh, slum dwellers that is C 20 lakh rupees 20 lakh rupee takka loan jo hai, that will be considered as PSL so that is a pretty short session. I hope you like the today's session. Sare important jo MCQs and PSL se related. Wo maine within seven and a half, yeah, I guess eight minutes mein maine cover kar diye hain. I'll do in-depth video as well on the priority sector lending. Stay updated. Sare updated video karenge hum. Ek ek topic jo, jo abhi tak updated hai. I'll be sharing that. And IBPS RRB scale to scale three course you can join in which we are covering the entire syllabus. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, live session, test series, and interview preparation guidance. Link to join the course is available in the description. List of our successful students. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. So you can be one of them in the future. And yes, you will be one of them in the future. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.